Okay, so last week I was able to extract a CD drive, and by using my Arduino, I was able to make it move forwards and backwards. So this week, I'm going to be extracting two more CD drives, which means I'm going to need to find two more computers. So, the first one I think I'll be able to find in the Deshettery, and the second one I have a friend who has promised to give me a CD drive. So, that's what will be happening this week. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm somewhere else, I'm actually in England. And England is a lot cheaper than Switzerland, so I'll be able to import some things from Amazon, which will allow me to progress further in the project. Okay, so I got um, a computer from the tip. Uh, as you can see, it has a CD drive, which means that it could be the right type that I need. So, this is what I've already got. Um, I'm going to hope... I hope there's um, a similar one here. What I'm s the requirement is a step per motor. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up and check. <laughs> From this computer, I managed to get a power supply. So this will take in um, the grid and it will transform it. Uh, this is an SD card, um, a mini SD card reader. Here's the DVD drive. This was the main thing I'm searching for. One of my friends was recently moving house, and was getting rid of some of his old computer parts. Knowing that I was searching for CD drives, he offered to give me one of his, which is really great for me, because it means I don't have to search through the tip for a computer again. Now, I just need to take it apart. Here's the two CD drives I extracted laid against their frames. And here's the CD drives together with the stuff I ordered to be delivered to England. I bought 40 20 cm long male to female jumper wires, an Arduino Mega, 5 stepper motor drivers, and a ramps controller board. The latter three items I won't be using for some time, but I bought them now instead of later in order to reduce the shipping costs by buying them all together. Okay, so now I have all three CD drives and have the wires I was waiting for. Next week I'll be soldering these wires to the stepper motors inside the CD drives. And hopefully by the end of the week I'll be able to get two of them to move simultaneously forwards and backwards. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see next week's video.